My friends, welcome, hi. It is another $100 savings day. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. I am legitimately freezing right now. I There is no other way to explain the level of cold that I am. So we're gonna try and move through this. I mean, I don't, I wanna, I wanna maximize and enjoy the time that I'm having with you, but also my hands are cold. So let's get into this because it's the most wonderful time of the year. I don't know, do you have a wish list for Christmas? Is there something that you'd like Santa Claus to bring you? Let me know. I wish I could be the genie that would grant or the Santa that would give you all the wishes that you want. But anyway, I can't, but I'm curious. Is there something specific that you would like for the holidays? And yeah, I'm just wondering, are any of you actually wishing for a vacuum cleaner or a laundry basket? $9 for this today. Oh, we can just do, 10 and we can put the one back because you know I love that. Actually, we can do even better. We can put this and this and then we can have this. So yeah, let me know what you're wanting for Christmas. Can we do, should we do one more? I feel like we should. Okay, let's just do it. Two dollar Renos. See, that made me feel a little better and then we got couple more weeks left of December and then we can get this finished. I still have the five dollars on here that I think that I'm just gonna wrap into what we have saved for this one and this is for Christmas 2024 from Janelle with Janelle Ray Budgets. That one is from Marlene with Snow Gardener 307. <laughs> but I don't like this number. I'm gonna... <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> we can do five! Uh, don't you worry, because I will get mine. Look at those, like these have not been scratched. So don't you be worrying about me. I'm, I'm just preparing myself for the $25 one and that's probably gonna happen when I get home from a street and feel like I have more room in my budget. You know what this flying money out of here reminds me? We have... L bucks. So we have one L buck and this is money that I pulled from the ATM the other day. Five L bucks. I honestly wonder if that was the ATM that I deposited the money into and basically that ATM was then kicking out the L bucks that I'd already deposited. So I do not track serial numbers. That's not my thing. So I don't know if my hands have already touched this before, but $6 in the L bucks for Renee with, she's with the budget. Well, she is the budget nerd co, but she's reinventing Renee. Guess what we're gonna do in February. We are having shut the box week is coming back. Let me tell you all about that. By the way, yes, last week, did I miss up? Did I mess up Ren's bird money? Yeah, I did. And honestly, there's $40 in here that's, me saving for playing flip the bird. So I, I honestly don't care. I'm saving money. Um, that looks like a wren. Let's let's pick the. I can. I know exactly what this is, and this is an emu. If you pronounce it as emu, it's wrong. So it's like e m y o u emu, and I'm going to call him. Augustus, the emu. Why? Because he looks kind of regal, doesn't he? Oh yeah. Uh, so f Shut the Bird Week is in honor of Renee because she, uh, now she did not create Shut the Box, the game, but she was the first person to create it and make it into a savings challenge. Ren, you little beauty, I love you. Two bucks. 
Um, so that is why we're going to do that. I think it's February 10th through the 16th and it is fun to play with your family. I'm just warning you uh, just ahead now to get ready. I'm going to put five in for this one. There we go. Because it is so much fun and it is hilarious watching the videos where the little kids get involved too. So February 10th through the 16th. If you don't have shop the box from Renee, get it. We'll all, we're all going to be playing it. And yeah, seriously, last February was so much fun for Shut the Box week. It was like all I think I did that whole week was just watch videos. Fun. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Augustus. Okay, let, can I make him, can I make him walk off screen? Wait, but they make, they make weird noises. I might be editing this out. Okay, he's saying goodbye. <laughs> Uh, the cold weather is making me crazy. <laughs> As I'm okay, Tracy, my love, we gotta talk because we wanna finish these challenges before the end of the year. So I think let's do, let's do one today and see how disastrous this is. It's a lovely six. So okay, let's do, Five, six bucks, so 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. Let's do one more. Um, and that's a seven. Okay, so we will add five, six, seven. And now let's do a little cash switcheroo. So 10, 20, and we can pull that five and, okay. $76, 50, 75, 76. And then this means that we are absolutely going to have this finished before the end of the year. Do you know what this means now? This means that we have this money left and we can go into, well, we can go into our Australia binder. Oh, the awful thing is that I have to calculate and multiply this by five. So fun, what do you got for us, Ren? Okay, so fun is 10, 20, 30, five. Okay, let's stick with that for right now because heaven knows I'm gonna get messed up. And then we're gonna go back to it. And this is from Danny with Craft Code Budgets. And this is $4. We are not doubling this one. One, two, three, four. I think let's do, let's finish up this row actually. $2, one, two. So, okay, we have an extra $6 going into fun. And I am transferring this all digitally into my online bank account. Although I do need to figure out how to get Australian currency. I do need to carry some Australian currency with me. Let's go back to fun and let's see what Ren, oh, we'll do this. Three times five is 15. Totally, this is doable. So now we have another 15 saved up in this one. Uh, I think this was a $75 savings challenge. So yeah, timesing it by five, but we have $50 that we're adding to this bucket today. That feels amazing, but okay. Can we be naughty? I'm not asking a lot of people. I'm just saying, I wanna start saving some of my 2024 challenges. So Mandy with Mandy's budgeting journey gets to be the first one. Two, easy, easy peasy. And it just makes me a little bit happy to be saving already for next year. Because here is the realistic thing. A year ago, I wasn't able to do a fifth of the number of savings challenges that I have right now. A sixth, like a tenth. Um, this time last year, we were in extreme budget mode. This is Renee, again, Budget Nerd Co. I was wondering what was wrong with my eyesight and I was like, I can't even read the number. It's two beans. 
there are a number of beans beneath each scratch off sticker. Scratch and save the number of beans. Unless there's a word, then save the number of letters. Don't worry, $4 is the most you'll have to do. Total is worth 20. So $2 for the beans with Renee. Ah, love her. Uh, but yeah, a year ago was not able to do any amount of saving challenges like I'm doing right now. So if you are brand new and just starting out, guess what I'm going to tell you? You don't need this stuff. You don't need this. 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 Do you know what you need? You need a desire to want to do this and to change your life. And one dollar. That's it. If you can have one dollar and put it away and save it and not spend it, especially if you have a lifetime of just being known for being a spender, you're already a better person. And the next day, take another dollar and save it. And your goal every day is to save one dollar and then that money truly adds up. You do not, and I know that sounds crazy that like I am this person who has a, an Etsy store and this is from Carla with Sweet and Sassy Budgets, but you really don't need to be the person who has all the fun things until you figured out how to actually save and what that savings looks like to you. Because realistically, you might start this and realize, you know what, I don't love it, but you've already invested so much money into it. I'm taking $5 and swapping it for this five and and then we're gonna take $2 for Carla money. Yay, I get to start the challenges. But I really, really do believe and mean what I say. Even you can just go get a box of envelopes from the dollar store and use those for your envelopes. Okay, this is so cute. These are from the Still Trying Mama and her daughter, Faithy. And I love, I don't know which one I wanna start first. Okay, I'm gonna start with the ice creams first and we have $4. So let's color off two of the ice creams and I'm going to make these boysenberry flavor. And I don't know, do most of you know, even know what boysenberry flavor is? Okay, and we're going with purple cones because obviously that's the thing to do. And yeah, but that was $100. We saved money for Australia and we got to start some of our 2024 challenges a little bit early. We're sneaky little beavers. Woo! It's time for Liz's favorite things. Congratulations to this person right here. You are the winner of the hashtag coffee giveaway. Please respond to the comment that I left you. I gave you directions on how to follow up to redeem your prize and I'm gonna do it again. And this time is the exact same thing. $20 Starbucks e-gift card or 20 US dollars PayPal. Please don't ask for cash app or anything else like that. I don't have it and I will redraw another winner. This time it's gonna close at 8 a.m. on December 19th and I will announce the winner on December 22nd. I have one more special thing for Liz's favorite things and I'm very excited about it, but I will announce that in an upcoming video. But thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.